This is Little 666 Part 3. I want to be a cowboy. Who will come out on top? Oh, here's something interesting in case you didn't know. Look at this dragon punch. That's meant to get you to, um, uh, he, he recovers right when you, right when you wake up. So it's kind of like a, a cute little mix-up that Ken does. Uh, so if you see Ken do that, like, uh, an obvious, uh, dragon punch where you can, uh, where you feel like you can get him, you probably can't get him. <laughs> Look here how he responds to my EX Demon Club, right there with that punish. Uh, you are vulnerable, even if you whiff the throw and, and land. Um, uh, right there, what I normally do is I whiff the throw and then land and try to throw. Uh, but little 666 uh, is responding uh, properly to, to the Demon Club. Um, I really like to wake up with Demon Club because it's kind of, like if the other guy doesn't know what to do, it's kind of an easy way out of, of waking pressure. Uh, but Little 666 is, is just going to punish me for that, uh, for that tendency. Uh, and, you know, waking up with the XD and flip, although you, you can uh, get, go to it sometimes, uh, it is kind of a crutch. And, you, know, you can't run with crutches. Go get it! Win! Who will come out on top? Fight! This is a really beautiful bait. He pushes himself out, waits, sees me with the sweep, and then uh, sticks me. Uh, that's Those are really nice footsies. Uh, he could have waited for a counter or, uh, you know, the sweep or whatever little poke I was going to do. That's, um, uh, that's, that's a good play to make, you know. It, 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 waiting in different spots is, is really powerful. You know, waiting to bait this, bait that. You know, good play. Here I do EX Tetsu again uh, after his uh, after his spin kick. That one I think I was actually trying to do an EX counter and I, and I screwed up. Uh, but uh, I <laughs> I think I did it again right there. Uh, I was really trying to not do uh, EX counter um, at all. I mean, it's never it's very rarely is it the right thing to do. Uh, most of the time it's just a huge risk where. Uh, 
you're just you're just betting their biggest combo against uh, your 200 damage uh, in order to get out of uh, pressure, basically, most of the time. Uh, so, really disappointed that I was doing that so much. After the ultra, I always go for a demon flip cross up. But see here, I just stand there. Uh, what happened was I did the, the demon flip cross up just a little bit too early. You have to do it um, for, for, the, for the proper timing. You have to do it right when uh, the, the, the the first available uh, uh, frame after uh, you're done recovering from ultra. Uh, so if you do it just a tiny bit too early, a lot of times you just stand there uh, waiting to see yourself go up. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Poor Ken. <laughs> There's nothing he can do about demon flip cross up setups. Not even its ultra will save him. Uh, he just has to cross his fingers and <laughs> hope for the best. Kind of like Goken has to do against Akuma. comes again. I don't know what got into me in this set against this Ken, but I, I don't do EX Tatsus like that normally. I mean, I must have been feeling really aggressive or, or something, but uh, when Ken comes in with a... With, when he's comboing you with his Tatsu, uh, at the end of it you're basically concerned with uh, getting comboed uh, or getting uh, thrown. Uh, uh, so... EX Tatsu uh, is, is going to hit him when he throws you, and it's going to get hit by DPs, uh, and it's going to whiff if he's doing crouching short. It's, it's just not uh, its not a good risk. Um, the better risk is block and tech or, uh, or EX Demon Flip. If you EX Demon Flip and he uppercuts, then uh, you get full combo. If he doesn't uppercut, you're kind of hard to punch. Un unless the guy punishing you is little 666, because he seems to be able to punish that every time. Uh, but block and tech is, is really, a, you know, just just risk the throw damage. Don't uh, don't risk his biggest combo by going for EX Tatsu. Uh, man, I'm, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted watching myself play.